service. Let's stand and go before the Lord and ask Him to move in our midst this evening. Father, have your way tonight. We thank you for your sweet spirit, your abiding presence. We thank you for being with us. We thank you for what you're going to do tonight. In our lives, in our reality, we come to you in sincerity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
not dismayed. Whatever we tie, God will take care of you. God, God is really good at taking care of us. I, uh, I, I failed to mention to you this morning that my wife and I have been, and every all of us, this is not unique to me. So don't think when I share something with you that it's unique to me that my situation is more special than yours. It, it doesn't mean that at all. But what I try to do a lot of times is share things with you to show you that the same God that takes care of me that will take care of you or the same God that will answer my prayer will answer your prayer and on and on and on. Yes, and the Bible did say that we are the example. So we try to show you through example that we experience some of the same things you experience and we go through some of the things, the same things that you go through. So anyway, um, my wife and I uh, had a lot of things that we talk about and, and that we have, you know, we all have needs and we put it before, we put it before God. We put it before God. We told that God, you know, we need this, this, this needs to happen, that needs to happen. Uh, this is what's going on. Now I need, we, we need you to come through. Yeah. We need you to answer prayer. And uh, so anyway, so we put it out there. What, and what's so interesting about this is that Wednesday night, Wednesday night, uh, we was preaching on a message entitled Seeking, Walking and Seeking or something like that, whatever it was. Um, I forget, Seeking God or something, something like that. They, they, they all just started blending together after a while. Oh, uh, waiting. Oh, uh, no, Seeking and Waiting. Seeking and Waiting. Mm -hmm. No, Waiting on God and Seeking God. That's what it was. Yeah. And out of the book of uh, Lamentations. Yes. And uh, the Blessing. Yes, and, um, and what's so interesting about that, Brother Lance, is that while I was preaching, I got two phone calls. But I can't answer the phone while I'm preaching. And when I got out of service, I saw that I had two missed calls. And I called them back. And the one phone call was an answer to prayer. Yes, sir. Yes. And the person said this. God laid you and your wife upon my heart. Now, when somebody starts a conversation out with, like that, you know there's a connection. And uh, God laid you upon my heart. And uh, we, we want to do this and that and the other. And I said, and, and I told, I stopped the person. I said, uh, I said, now, I want to be careful that I don't sound charismatic here or super spiritual or whatever. But what you just said, we prayed about this. What you just said is an answer. God answered our prayer. Yes, sir. And so I wanted to share that with you, is that we have committed our lives to Christ. And just because we committed our life to Christ does not mean that we won't have challenges or that things won't happen good, bad, or indifferent. Yes, and even in situations where we may have caused something or we may have done something, it, it's, it's not relevant. And you say, why is that? Because no one, no one is perfect. That's right. We all make mistakes. We all do things sometimes. I have, you have, that God's got to go back and clean up. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get away with it? Yes, like, man, God, I, I need you to go clean. I need you to clean that up. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yes, I need you to help, help me get this fixed. Yes. And then, so I just wanted to share that with you about how that God still answers prayer. Yes, he does. Amen. God still answers prayer. Yes. And don't, don't um, underutilize, don't underutilize God in your life. Amen. Do what you can do and then leave the rest to God. Amen. Leave the rest to God. And I promise you that God will answer prayer. Yes. God will come through. He will answer. He will accomplish his will in your life. Amen. Amen. So we're thankful for you tonight. I just want to, and if you don't get anything else out of this service tonight, remember, put your trust in God. Put your trust in God. Amen. Even if it means doing like, uh, what's his name that put the, um, 
There's one you were just reading about the other day. You put the paper. Hezekiah. 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 Yeah. Hezekiah. Sennacherib. Mm -hmm. Sennacherib talking about what he's going to do and, yeah. and, and how he's going to defeat them and all this. And man, Hezekiah wrote it all out yeah. and laid it out before yeah. God. And then whatever your problems are, whatever's wrong, write it out and lay it out before yes. God. Yes. And pray. And say, God, I need you to help me. Yes. Amen. Yes. And be serious about it. Yes. And say, God, I'm trusting you. Yes. Man, God went to not uh, uh, Hezekiah, they didn't even have to lift a finger. God took care of the enemy himself. Yes. Amen. So Whatever it is that's going on in your life, whether it be help, we're praying that God touch Brother Lance. Brother Lance, yes. we're praying that God help you with what you're going through. Amen. That uh, God bless you with what you're dealing with. Yes. And all of these things. God bless you, folks. Come on in. Yes. And all of that and everybody else. Amen. God is faithful. Yes, he is. The man who lived the legend is in the deal. <laughs> Uh, the man who lived the legend is in the deal. Amen. How you doing, Sister Tracy? God bless you. And we welcome you, the young lady that's with you. We welcome you to, to, to the church.
But I'm here to tell you that the God that I serve, I said the God that I serve, it's like when you turn to him, somehow he gives you strength from out of nowhere. Yes. Somehow he helps you to gather yourself and say, wait a minute, what am I doing? He said, I can do all things through Christ. Amen. And what? Strengthen me. Amen. Don't quit. Don't give up. That's right. There are people right now that come to the church. I already know. The devil is throwing everything he can at them. Yes, He's trying to do everything he can to defeat them, to destroy them, to discourage them. Amen. I was thinking about that guy, uh, Alex. Yeah. Uh, oh, Let's go. Yes. Come on, brother. Lance. Let's go, brother. Amen. Amen. Sister Tracy, let's go. Amen, Amen brother. Yes. Mike, let's go. Let's go. Amen. Amen. We're not putting God on the back burner. What is this? Mm. Amen. We're going to keep God out front. Yes. Amen. We're going to, yeah, we're going to get away with it, God. I'm going to put you to work. Yes. Amen. I'm going to let you fight my battle. I was thinking about Brother Alex that he, he, he took three weeks ago. <coughs> him, and he, 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 him, and, him and his daughter came. They found the church on Google. He said, my church is like an hour away. And uh, they stay over there, off of 12th Street um, in, in Stowe. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, our church is about an hour away. We ain't going to be able to get there. They Googled the church. And he's been coming ever since. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The next Sunday, he brought two, three more people. Yeah. But the yeah. whole time, what's what's the, what's the young lady's name sitting behind you, Mike? What's her name? What's her name? <laughs> what's her name? So she, but what I'm trying to tell you is that. 
that she said she told she told her dad who did she she said I want to be baptized. She told her dad. Uh, yeah. right. We don't 
have time to play games. Amen. Amen. Life is short. Yes, it is. It's time to be about the business of serving God. It's time to start being about the business of reaching other people for Christ. Uh, 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 like the other day, my wife and I jumped in the car and we drove all the way out the way. Well, I keep giving the name of it. Not long. Young time. Young time. Oh. Young. Young, young wood, young wood, young wood. Where was you at? Long Island? Mm -mm. We had to go visit some follow up on somebody that came to church. Somebody visited the church they out there. They came with Alex and his daughter, one of them. One of them. And we went out there, followed up on them, left them a, a nice uh, church gift bag and all that. Amen, which is nice and everything. It's a real blessing. And um, it was nice to just ride out there. 251 to 70, 70, all the way out to Greensburg area. It was nice. Nice ride. Amen. My wife and I was hungry the whole time. <laughs> we were. You know, so, but anyway, it was nice. I want to share something with you. It's time to be about the business. Jesus said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every living creature. In 1985, New Orleans had a celebration of going of, of, of the whole summer without a drown, without a drown. You know, they, they were celebrating. Man, we went the whole summer without a drown. Let's have a celebration, right? That's great. That's wonderful. So 200 people gathered together. 100 of them were lifeguards. 100 of them were lifeguards. And as they finished the party, as they finished the party, there was somebody at the end of the pool dead. Somebody at the end of the pool dead. There was a fully dressed 31 year old man dead in the deep end of the pool. They tried to, to revive Jerome Moody, but it was too late. With 100 lifeguards there, and four lifeguards was on duty. 100 lifeguards there, four on duty, somehow a man drowned. And you know, it's the same way with us. Okay, you come to God. Will you, and you're on your job. Who on that job that God is trying to reach? Who in your neighborhood God's trying to reach? Man. Who's in your family that God is trying to reach? I don't want somebody to be found dead when I could have saved them. Yeah. When I could have saved them. Amen. My life could have saved them. My testimony could have saved them. My reputation as a Christian could have saved them. Yeah. We got to be about the business yeah. of saving souls. You 
quelqu'un qui veut dire mon mon Dieu, mon mon Dieu, 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 mon Dieu,
It's by faith. Let's go. He said, go ye into all the world. We got to show people that we're real. We got to show people that God is moving in our life. We got to show people that God is really a real and that good things will happen when you serve God. You got to show your brothers and sisters. You got to show your mom and dad. You got to show your co-workers. You got to show the people in your neighborhood. You got to show those that know you that you are a man of God or a woman of God and that you are different. your father which is in heaven oh God when you practice faith and when you struggle and when you have a difficult time and when things aren't going your way and when God deliver you and when God sets you free and when God break you out it shows them that you were who you said you were uh, you, when, when God brings you out, uh, it displays to the world uh, that you are really serving a God uh, that is able to deliver. Uh, you're able. God is able to oh, yes. But you got to stop trying to do it on your own. Because what happens when we try to do it on our own, we mess it up. We make it, we, we, we turn it into a disaster. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit back and let God do it. Amen. Amen. I'm going to stand back. He said, what, what did he tell Moses? Stand, stand back and see the salvation of God. Amen. Stand still. Stand still and see the salvation of God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for these precious people. I want y'all to just come on around the altar. Let's spend some quality time with God. Amen. Let's just let God have his way. You know, I want you to come on down and, 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 and get into it with God and just let God really move in your life. Make that reconnection. Make that reconnection tonight. Let it be strong. Let it be powerful. And just say, God, tonight, I want to reconnect. God, tonight, I want to make sure my relationship with you is on point. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, forgive me for when I didn't listen. God, forgive me for when I made that decision without praying. God, forgive me for, Lord, doing something without considering what you thought about it. Amen. In this service, in this service, declare to God, God, I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you give it to me. I'm going to let you provide it. I'm going to let you make a way. I'm going to let you work it out. I'm going to let you stick your hand in the jaw of heaven and break 